everyone. Today's story is called The Good Egg. Now, you might remember we read The Bad Seed a few days ago, so I thought we would read The Good Egg today because I think you really like that story. So today's story, The Good Egg by Jory John and Pete Oswald. The Good Egg. Oh, hello. I was just rescuing this cat. Know why? Because I'm a good egg. A very good egg. It's true. I do all kinds of good things, like I'll carry your groceries, I'll water your plants, I'll change your tires, I'll paint your house. If you need any help whatsoever, I'm your egg. I've always been a good egg. It's been this way from the start, even in my earliest days back at the store. There were a dozen of us living together under one recycled roof. There was Meg and Peg and Greg and Clegg and Shell and Shelly and Sheldon and Shelby and Egbert and Frank and other Frank. The other 11 eggs weren't on their best behavior. They weren't exactly good. They ignored their bedtime. They only ate sugary cereal. They threw tantrums. They cried for no reason. And they broke their stuff on purpose. Meanwhile, I tried to take charge. I tried to fix their bad behavior. I tried to keep the peace because I was a good egg. A very good egg. Nobody seemed to care though. Every night I was exhausted. My head felt scrambled. Then one fateful morning, I noticed some cracks in my shell. Yikes! They were everywhere! My doctor said it was from all the pressure I was putting on myself. The pressure of making sure everybody was as good as me. I was cracking up. Literally, something had to change. I'd had enough. I told Meg and Peg and Greg and Clegg and Shell and Shelly and Sheldon and Shelby and Egbert and Frank and other Frank that I was leaving. I can't be the only good egg in a bad carton, I said. Blah, 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 they replied. I left that night. I wandered from town to town. The hours became days. The days became weeks. I lost track of time. I was all alone. Out there on the road under the stars, I really tried to focus on myself and what I needed. Look at his beard that he grew. It's hmm? funny. I took walks. I read books. I floated in the river. I wrote in my journal. I found simple moments to be quiet. I breathed in. I breathed out. I even started painting. For once, I found time for me. And guess what? Little by little, the cracks in my shell started to heal. My head no longer felt scrambled. I started to feel like myself again. So I've made a big decision. I'm returning to my old carton and my friends. Besides, I'm kind of lonely out here. This time I know what I need to do. I'll try not to worry so much. I'll be good to my fellow eggs while also being good to myself.
Here we go. It says farmer's market. Oh, everybody missed me. I missed them too. Hello, Meg. Howdy, Peg. Hey, Greg. Greetings, Clegg. What's up, Shell? Aloha, Shelly. Hey, oh, Sheldon. Hi, Shelby. Good day, Egbert. What's happening, Frank? Howdy do, other Frank. And their sign says, welcome home. Sure, every once in a while, everybody's still a little bit bad, but it's not like before. Here is what I realized. The other eggs aren't perfect, and I don't have to be perfect either. I'm okay with that. Yep, the old carton is back together. We're a solid dozen again. It's good to be home. Look at the silly pictures that they're drawing all over. The end. I love that story too, because just like the bad seed, it teaches us that we all have to do our personal best and do what's best for ourselves. And sometimes we have to just let things go and we have to realize that we're not perfect and that no one is perfect okay because god created us just the way that we are all right i hope you enjoyed our story i will see you soon goodbye